now let's have set two po sa blessings ng uh, sa chemistry. Okay? We have number 26. The yellow color of a highlighter is a what property? So, anong property daw po? Si color. Diba? Si color is what we observe. Then, what we observe is a physical property. Okay? Physical property. 27. Diba? Ang bilis. <laughs> 27. What is the mass percent of Na2SO4 in a solution made by dissolving 25 grams of Na2SO4 in 225 grams of H2O? So ang hinaharap lang natin is yung percentage uh, percent uh, mass percentage po. So ano po ang mass per percentage? It will just only be like this. 25 grams over 220 uh, 250 grams. Yan yung total po, okay? Ito po yung total. Saan galing yung 250? 225 plus 25. So therefore, 25 grams over 250 times 100, it will have 10%. Okay? 10% mass percentage po si Na2SO4 sa solution. Remember po, ah, solution yung hinahanap. Okay? Sa solution. So therefore, we add up 25 grams and 225. Yan po yung bottom po dito. 28. What would be most uh, what would most probably be the resulting chemical formula when Mg2 plus and O2 combine? So Mg2 plus and O2 negative crisscross it magiging MgO po. Okay? Hindi po Mg2O2, MgO po. Kasi lowest terms pa rin tayo, Mg at O. 29. Which of the following substances is most likely a covalent compound? Okay, covalent compound sa lahat ng choices na ito, ang sagot po natin is SO2. Siya lang po yung covalent compound kasi it is composed of non-metal non-metal atoms po. So non-metal and non-metal that tends to share electrons in order to achieve a stable octet. In contrast, the other ones are actually ionic compounds. Yung pag ionic naman, ano ionic? Metal and non-metal. 30. Which factor affects the rate of dissolution when powdered sugar dissolves more rapidly than granulated sugar? So, di ba, nandiyan na, nandi, nandiyan na, uh, na discuss na ito sa set 1. Pag powdered sugar, okay, powdered sugar, we have, the answer is particle size. Okay, we are talking about particle size. And remember, the smaller the particle size, the faster the, the rate of dissolving. The dissolution pala. 31. How many moles of iron does 25 grams of Fe represent? Okay, given na po yung Fe natin. If Fe natin is 55.85. So, how do we do this? Ito lang po yun. 25 grams of Fe times 1 mole of 55.85. Then, manipulating this, okay? Wala, wala po tayong calculator po ha? So, dapat manual po, okay? Pag minanual natin ito sa questionnaire nyo po kasi hindi po nagbebigay si PRC ng... ng uh, ano po tawag yun? Um, extra sheet. So, sa, sa, sa questionnaire po talaga kayo magsosolve. So, solving this, we will have 0.448 mole. Letter A alpha. 32. Which of the following is the most acidic? Okay, sino dito ang most acidic? Medyo mahirap po ito pag hindi nyo alam. Okay, the most acidic po dito is si calamansi juice. Si calamansi juice is my 2.32 pH. Then, si vinegar, 2.67. Uh, hindi, 2.65. Carbonated drink, 2.91. At si urine po natin, 5.93. 33. Which of the following refrigerant has the maximum ozone depletion uh, potential in the stratosphere? Diba? As we all know, famous CCFC. Chlorofluorocarbons. So, sa saan dito? Siyempre, si fluorine. Okay? Si fluorine yung maximum ozone depletion po. So, binabawal na po ito, si fluorine. Paggamit ng aerosols na CFCs. 34. What happens in an adiabatic process? Okay, we have the term adiabatic. By definition po, pag adiabatic, no heat enters or leaves the system. Okay, walang heat po na pumapasok at wala pong lumalabas. As is po. As is. 35. Sodium chloride conducts electricity when dissolved in water. What type of bond is present in NaCl? Remember ha, pag merong conduction of electricity, ang nangyayari po yan is yung 
uh, bonding po yan, bond type is ionic. Pag ionic po, may electricity yan. Remember that. 36. How do solutions differ from compounds? Okay, how do solutions differ from compound? Po, compounds. Yung solution natin po, siyempre solution, siyempre. It will vary in composition. At si compound naman, siyempre, meron silang definite structure, di ba? According to the law of definite proportions. So, ang sagot mo natin is, solutions vary in composition and compounds have definite composition. Letter B, bravo. 37. In a solution, the substance present in the largest amount is called what? So, sa solution, yung substance daw na present sa largest amount is you know, si solute ba or si solvent? Sino mas pinakamalaki? Si solvent, yung largest amount po. 38. What are elements in groups 1A through 8A called? Okay, 1A to 8A. Diba marami? Isa lang po yung elements po, uh, group of elements po na madaming associate, uh, associated na mga elements. Yung mga representative elements. Okay, group 1A to 8A representative elements. 39. How many valence electrons does the element oxygen have? Okay, we have oxygen. Si oxygen nasa group 6. Meaning to say, it has 6 valence electrons. 40. Which of the following elements has the greatest metallic character? Okay, metallic yung hinahanap natin. Pinakamalaking metallic character. From the choices po, si barium po yung pinaka-greatest metallic na character. Okay, merong trend niyan. Okay, merong trend niyan. Later on, we will discuss that from the next question. Na, if it will, if it, it, we will talk again metallic character again. Later on. 41. NaCl is equivalent to sodium chloride at saka pag aluminum oxide naman, ano ang kanilang formula? Okay, we have aluminum at we have oxide. Aluminum and oxide, syempre, si oxide, 2 negative. Si aluminum, Al3+. So, anong mangyayari? Criss-cross natin. Al2O3. 42. Which of these is the preferred name for CS2? Okay, CS2. Meron tayong carbon, meron tayong sulfur. Okay, carbon, meron tayong dalawang sulfur. Carbon disulfide. Okay, carbon disulfide. Next. Which of these is the preferred name for H2SO4 na aqueous? Kapag aqueous po, guys, dapat may acid yan sa ulahi. Okay? So, pag may acid, aqueous na si A at saka si B. So, ano po itong H2SO4? Sulfuric ba or disulfuric? Siyempre, we will retain its stock name. So, ang sagot natin is, Sulfuric acid. Kapag may AQ. Sulfuric acid. Let's have 42. A sample of compound AB decomposes to 12 grams of A and 6 grams of B. Another sample of the same compound A decomposes to 6 grams of A. So, predict down natin yung number of grams of B obtained at the second sample. Okay, ratio and proportion lang ito. 12 is to 6 is to... 6 to, ano, ratio natin is 2 is to 1. So, anong 6? Pag 2 is to 1, magiging 3. Okay, 3. Yung prediction natin is yung uh, merong 3 grams of B po doon kay second na sample. 4, 5. Write in the formula for the ionic compound formed by combining each metal ion. So, meron tayong M plus at saka X3 negative. So, crisscross again. Ano mangyayari? Magiging M3X. Okay? M3X. 46. Which of the following is the formula for chromium 3 chloride? Okay? Chromium 3 chloride. So, chromium 3 chloride dapat CrCl3. Ito po ang chromium 3 chloride. Chromic chloride po yan. Hindi po yan chromos. Chromic chloride. Kaya CrCl3. 47. A chemical equation is balanced by changing its what? Okay, we when we do balancing equations, ang nag-change lang po is ang coefficient niya. Hindi po si subscript, hindi po si superscript. O ito o, oh, balancing. The missing number in the equation is what? Okay, so hinahanap, hinahanap natin yung number of uh, carbon at saka hydrogen. So ilang carbon sa product side? Okay. Sa product, sa ilang carbon, meron tayong walong carbon. 
ay walong carbon. At meron tayong apat na carbon. So, ilan ang idagdag natin? Siyempre, dalawa. Okay, 2 times 4 magiging 8 po. So, pag 8 carbon, 8 carbon, meaning equal na po ito. So, ang sagot natin is 2. Okay? The moment that you can find the answer, siyempre, ito lang yung hinahanap natin. Plakado na po ito. Huwag nyo niyang isolve lahat. Huwag nyo niyang i-verify. Kasi alam na, na, alam na natin na 8C, 8C sa kabila at ang kulang lang dito is 2 para magiging 8 siya sa left side. So, sagot natin is 2. Last two number. What are the coefficients needed to balance this chemical equation? Ito. So, dapat uh, one by one po. Okay, one by one. Let's try to have this. Uh, we have calcium on the left side. Meron tayong calcium sa right side. Okay. Kapag lagyan natin ng 1 na calcium dito, syempre, magiging isa po dito. Okay. Let's try 1 and 1. 1 and 1, okay po. Calcium at sa calcium. Pero, dito, meron tayong dalawang hydrogen at dalawang oxygen. Okay. Dalawang hydrogen at saka dalawang oxygen. So, therefore, pag sa left side, dapat dalawa din ito. Okay. Dapat dalawa. Dapat dalawa magiging patas na si OH as si OH dito. So, meron ito yung dalawang K, dalawang potassium. Dapat din dito, dalawang potassium. So, we are left with 2Cl. Pag 2Cl, meron din dalawa dito, magiging 2Cl dito. So, anong tamang sagot? Magiging 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay? 1, 2, 1, 2. 50, last number. To what chemical reaction does this reaction belong? Okay, meron tayo 2Mg plus O2 at yung na-yield output is 2MgO. So basically, you are just adding, you are just combining. So, combination po. Letter A, combination. So, we are done with set 2, blessings 2. Move on tayo sa next video po. So, we have the next video, yung blessings 3. See you there.